Hello again guys. It is Wednesday the 27th of June. Come on Sim, let's get in gear. What's the matter? We are back in our Princess Cinderella. There you go. After about three days in the beast. And um, today's going to be either a really short video or a combination of two days work. What we're going to do this morning is we're just going to head over. We're going to head over solo, pick up a trailer to take back to the yard, and then. Um, take an empty over there to replace it and then we're going to meet our colleague Mark in our flagship motor or the one that's the most doled up at least um, I call it the flagship because you know it's got the most bling on and then I'm gonna be acting as a shotgun driver with him because we've got a task of delivering a 20 meter load somewhere, I <laughs> forget where it was um, loads over a certain length or a certain overhang require assistance and that's what I'm going to be doing, I don't think I'm going to be driving it myself pretty sure I won't be anyway um, but I will be sharing the experience and helping him out while he does so so, if he doesn't let me do any vlogging as such, I'll just post a couple of pictures, show you what we've done. Really looking forward to it. Because not only am I going to be having the experience of doing the load, I'm actually going to be learning about it. And it's another little notch under my belt. Although when I was a, when I was a teenager, I had the pleasure of helping out my dad we took an overhead crane and that was probably about 25 metres so I have done it once in the past I'll catch you in a bit guys because I can't film in here well that was easy enough just come round the corner just as I was turning and if it wasn't for that mirror underneath bird I wouldn't have seen that and I'd have cut them two up that was easy, nice easy though to take back to the yard now. And like I said, we'll pick up an empty, go back there with it. <coughs> Just had a little boo boo. There's a bit of wood on the floor about that big. And as I bent down to put the strap on, I stood on the end of this piece of wood and it flipped up and it took a chunk out my knee, to be honest. A bit like in Skyrim. <laughs> I took an arrow to the knee. I got recognised by one of my tractor driving uh, viewers yesterday. That was quite cool. We just came out of Cranbrook down in Exeter. Oh, you're turning left, are oh, you? Yeah. Thank you very bloody much. Right, mission complete. Now it's off to meet Mark and do some extreme trucking come on then focus all right we have arrived and we just got to hang on for our colleague to right we've arrived now and we just got to wait for our colleague to uh, turn up get our safety gear on and all that sort of stuff and then we'll go and give him a hand strapping it up I think I've just seen the uh, the actual uh, behemoth that we're going to be moving today and it's about I think it was six or eight H beams or whatever you call them and um, oh my god <laughs> It was longer than I expected, she said. Absolutely gigantic. 
I thought the 50 foot ones were good and you know I'll go all extreme about it because it's, it's the longest load I've ever moved and then you see it compared to this and you're just like what? What? Um, yeah it's something else and I really hope he doesn't mind me doing a few snaps of it during the day sometime. Now we've got a part around the back but I want to do it so I don't block anything in. Back in a bit. Alright guys we are up in Skelmsdale now and if you thought our 50 foot deliveries were long cop a load of this 25 meters altogether I believe or 20 meters sorry I forget <laughs> absolutely amazing well done to Mark for getting us here I'm going to help bank him in now and it's mainly the overhang on the back is the reason why I've got to be coming but um, like I said I'll have a look into it in Cinderella later on we'll get the RHA handbook out and clarify everything for us we've got the marker boards on it's five beams all together and yeah hopefully one day I'll be doing one of these fantastic but I can't be doing much filming with it at least I've showed it you there and in no time at all the forkies have got them all off and they're going to move them in shortly job is a good one don't know where we're going to next like I said earlier we're in the uh, the flagship it's got a few little bits of bells and whistles lollipop kind of things here they're the actual lollipops sorry and then we've got the other lights here some nice fancy surrounds around the lights extra extra burners on the front now the sun's in the way to show you the top bar with the four spots old school same over this side it is the 480 as well and they've got a bit of a light bar across the back and my favourite one of my favourite additions are these two lights these work lights here at the back pretty awesome I think he's got them on his reverse lights actually they might be reverse lights I can't remember but it's a cracking motor very nice right then cinders let's get back to it eh we've just had to move around the way because ironically the one place I thought was fine to leave her parked while we was out turned out to be one of the only places in the way as they had to get something from the other side of it so my apologies for that I was going to leave the key here but when Mark showed up I just totally forgot to drop it off in the offices so all we got to do now is head over to the house factory to go and pick up um, a bag of slings so we're just going to be putting them on the back of this it's going to be putting them on the back of Cinderella and then coming back to the uh, factory with them so there's not going to be much left really today and just like that 45 minutes later we are leaving the house factory and it appears someone's had a bit of an argument on the roundabout Maybe they broke down, I don't know. But um, yes, we've got our bag of slings now on the back. And now we're heading back. And in a fortunate roll reversal, um, we're going to be going to pick our colleague up from the garage. He's dropped our truck off, a different truck, to have some work done on it. So we're going to be picking him up. So he chauffeured us round all morning. And we're going to pick him up. Oh, you're moving across, are you? Good job I saw that coming. So we're going to pick him up and give him the ride back to the yard. Well, our day has gone full circle now. 
we are back. <laughs> I hope you're all enjoying this lovely, glorious heat wave we're all having right here in the UK right now. I have been sweating my buckets off. <clears throat> We've just picked up our load, which I'm hoping is for tomorrow. It's a load of metal frames and it's going down to Cardiff tomorrow. So with any luck, the 20 minutes or so we've just spent strapping it all up won't have to be undone when we get back to the yard and we can take this one ourselves in the morning. Now please can you get away from the curb? I hate it when they stand so close to the curbs like that. I'm sorry I couldn't show you much more earlier on. Um, there wasn't really much more to show. Um, so yes. That is pretty much it for the end of today's video. Oh dear. I want to thank you all for watching. Enjoy this beautiful heat wave like I said earlier. Thank you all for going to check out Chucker Chris and thank you all for my kind messages and congratulations on hitting 3,000 more. You never know, Truck Fest might start getting an interest soon. <laughs> Catch you all later guys.